What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Retro Hoop Collectibles. I'd like to tell you that this is the last video I'm going to do about this Panini patch debacle. I really thought that it was just concentrated in basketball, right? Because, you know... COVID and you know not being able to get patches and all this other stuff and maybe there's some some leeway there and they specify it on the back of the card I mean even though I don't like it they specify it they say it's not associated with a specific player game or event it says it right on there even though I don't like it it says it it says it. it's not associated with a player game or event okay fine at that point Panini has told me that this patch is basically something that they grabbed out of a dick sporting goods and slapped it into a card. Okay, fine. I make the decision at that point whether or not I want to buy it or not. The problem that I have with this uh, recent uh, revelation that has been put in front of me that I, I wasn't going to do it, but I'm like, man, this is just, I can't ignore this, right? I have to, I have to say something. Um, so quick uh first shout out to my uh let's see who's uh, i can't remember who put this in front of me. i get so many emails shout out to my man tommy on instagram tmar528 if you guys want to go follow him um sends me a picture of a pretty badass card if i were to have put if i were to have pulled this i would have been jumping for joy you guys know i don't play this I don't play in this arena, big, you know, big dollar stuff. Anyway, uh, overtime rips, overtime underscore rips on Instagram. If you guys want to go follow him, uh, pulls a one of one Trevor Lawrence patch auto rookie card, which, I mean, let's face it. Anybody in their mother would have went absolutely bananas to pull a card like that. So here it is. Beautiful, beautiful card. Black, one of one, Trevor Lawrence. You can almost say team color match. Just an awesome card to pull. Nice autograph. Sticker. Hey, Panini, let's not do sticker autographs on one of ones. Um, but nonetheless, beautiful card. It's the uh, laundry tag, right? Or the size laundry tag. Just a great card. You know, great card to pull. Um, but you know, on the back of it, it's as, as is with any card, right? Uh, we do have, you know, the one of one and it does say the enclosed authentic memorabilia is not from any specific game or event. And the autograph is guaranteed by Panini America. So kind of crappy, right? I mean, it's not game worn. It's not game used. It's not from any specific game, but hey, it does belong to T-Law, right? Sunshine, as I like to call him. Sunshine. Um, the assumption here, and I know we shouldn't assume, but I mean, come on. You specified it on the basketball cards. If this wasn't even associated with the player, then tell me that, right? You already pissed off all the basketball fans. Just let us know. But it doesn't say that. It says that it's not a game or event specifically. Okay, cool. But it does belong to Trevor Lawrence. All right, I can live with that. That's kind of how the patches have been recently anyway. The problem is, is when you start digging into it a little bit, here, right here, is a game-used Trevor Lawrence jersey that just sold at auction for almost 20 grand. Which, by the way, side note here. Um, I was reading some of the comments they say that this card's gonna sell for twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars, right? This card right here is gonna sell for twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars, but yet this jersey, right? This one right here, this jersey is not gonna sell. Did not sell for more than twenty thousand dollars. Only eighteen thousand dollars. You want to talk about an arbitrage opportunity? That's just that's just me. At any rate, here is a game used. Oh, and I'm looking at it now. It's when they beat the crap out of my Texans. 
last year. Game used against the Texans, number one draft picks, got his autograph on the on the number six. But if we look a little closer and you look at the size of this, Trevor Lawrence is not a 52. He's a 40 in a game jersey. He's a 40. And on the front of this card, it's a 52. Whose jersey is this? Because it's not Trevor Lawrence's. It's not Trevor Lawrence's jersey. Somebody went down to Jacksonville, walked into Dick's Sporting Goods, bought a jersey off the rack, and cut the tag out. Slapped it into the card. This is ridiculous. Because this right here is a flat-out lie. This, I can deal with. I can deal with this because you're telling me that this ain't worth dog poop. I get it, right? You're telling me that this is, you're selling it to me and I'm excited that I got it. And then I flip it over and it's like, oh, I got garbage because you're telling me that it's garbage. But right here, you're not telling anybody anything because the assumption is, is that it, okay, it may not be a specific game or event, but at least it belongs to the player. Trevor Lawrence at some point had this jersey in his possession, maybe even wore it. I don't know. But not if it's a 52. A game used jersey is a 40. It's getting worse, folks. And the thing about it is, is that word around the water cooler is that Panini is getting ready to sell to Fanatics. Um, and that, they're, they're, you know, they're pretty much done. So those of you who got, I mean, one of the things I'm wondering is about redemptions. I don't even want to get into that black hole because I got some redemptions out there, some Shingun redemptions that I'm probably never going to see. And I spent money on those redemptions. Anyway, um, it's just getting worse, right? It's getting worse and worse and worse. First, it happens on the low end stuff. Then the National Treasure RPAs, which are complete dog poop. If you want to go watch that video I did on those. And then now we're just getting to the point to where we're just flat out lying on cards. I can't think of I can't think of of something to defend this. I, every time I do one of these videos, I always try to play devil's advocate and say how is that possible that that could happen? Because if it was Trevor Lawrence's jersey, it would be the right size. It wouldn't be four sizes bigger, which is insane. Panini's just flat out lying on this one, and I, I that does not sit right with me. Right? Tell me, tell me you're selling me crap. Right? Then it's up to me whether or not I want to buy it. But in this case, it just sucks. Because that jersey is worthless. That little patch, it's worthless. It's a dick Sporting Goods patch. You think this is stuff you think that stuff would be getting better, but it's not. Hopefully, fanatics, being that they sell you know, these types of jerseys and things like that. Cause that's, I think this is where it actually happened. Fanatics, the, the game worn jerseys, hopefully they'll be a little bit more, you know, in tune with that. Hopefully logistically they'll be able to handle it a little better. I don't know. We'll see, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, cause I just can't rationalize this in any way. If, if there's something that I'm completely missing, please let me know. Like, uh, if, Tell me how this can, this is not a lie because I, I just can't figure it out. I, I want to say that maybe he wore it to an event, but you really think that Trevor Lawrence is going to walk around with basically a, you know, king size jersey on? He's, he looks silly. Anyway, down in the comments, let me know what you guys think. And I just don't see how he can get any worse than this, but you know, maybe surprised. Um, podcast is coming out Saturday. Card Hedge Podcast. Be on the lookout for that. Hit the like button, follow, subscribe, all that good jazz. Instagram is Retro Hoop Breaks. I need to start plugging that a little bit more because I do post quite a bit on there. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? That's it. Appreciate you guys watching as always. Love y'all.